We got this right now. Mr. Beast dropped the video. $1 versus $500,000 experiences. So let's watch this Mr. Beast video. I'm about to show you what a half a million dollar experience looks like. I promise this is going to blow your mind. In this video, you will find out why it costs a quarter of a million dollars to simulate going to space. Why it costs $50,000 to explore the depths of our oceans. Whoa! It's coming right at us. And every other experience we tried along the way. I am standing on top of the tallest building in the world! to the cheapest experience I could find. Riding a camel. How long can I ride this camel for a dollar? One dollar, two minutes. Deal. Yes. That's a great one dollar experience. Yeah. Ooh. Well Yo, Wait, you get to ride a camel for two minutes for only one dollar? Two minutes low key long. All I really, if you really think about it, bro, I think two minutes is good enough for me to ride a damn camel because camels low key, low key are like scary. You feel me? So, like, I'll be good with riding a camel for only two minutes. And then, like, you feel me? Get us a pit. Like, for a minute, get a good ride on that motherfucker. No ditty. Just ride that ride that motherfucker for a good minute. And then, for the next minute, get some good pictures of me on that riding that motherfucker. And then, I think I'll be good. Hold on. Tell you why. Oh. 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 oh, my God. I wanted to ride camels in Egypt, but they're way more than a dollar. So, I'm going to throw the pyramids up and post. Yo. Yeah, it's beautiful. Dude, this is a workout to stay on the stage. I mean, I'm so high up oh, in the sky. Now you know what it's like to be me and Chandler. Okay. Well, $1 only got us two minutes, and that time is up. Let's go have dinner in the sky. For $10,000, you can go 3000 Damn, $1 to $10,000? What about $100 or $1,000? That's a big jump. In the sky with a chef who uses this hot air balloon as her kitchen. You can see the shadow from the balloon over there in the field. Dude. This is a little higher than I expected, I'm not gonna lie. But this isn't your everyday dinner at 3,000 feet in the air. This Michelin star chef uses the flame from the hot air balloon itself to literally cook the food for the meal she's preparing. That's Michelin. tough. Oh, yo! That's our next course of food, bro. Now we're about to have fish that they cooked with the fire from the hot air balloon. That's oh, tough. You. Oh my god. Jimmy, this is amazing. Look how beautiful it is down there. Such an amazing view while we eat. This fish never dreamed of being this high up. <laughs> if you got an extra 10 grand and want to impress a girl, I would recommend this. Every If you got an extra 10 grand. How many people in your audience, Mr. Beast, think you think just got an extra 10 grand? Mr. Beast, give me an extra 10 grand and I'll pick, and you pick out the girl and 10 grand and let's do it. How about we do that? I don't even got an extra dollar to give a motherfucker, let alone myself. And you talk about an extra 10 grand? All right, bro. Every single one of these 10 gourmet courses was phenomenal, but I still had one question I needed to ask. As a Michelin star chef, what do you think of this Beastables bar? Very good in balance, and what I like is the crunch and the chocolates. Beastables is now Michelin star approved. The 10K experience was very beautiful. Amazing. Up next is the 50K experience, and Chandler and Carl have no idea what I have in store for them. What do you think of the yacht? I think it's beautiful. It's pretty. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think it costs 50 grand for the day? Uh, no. Okay. So look over there. We're gonna go on a submarine expedition. Oh! My God. You guys ready to explore the floor of the ocean? Yeah. yeah! Okay, let's do this. Oh my. What? What? Kamala Harris wants to give people. Did he just jump into the water? And why does it give me. Bro, every single time I try not to, they give me dumbass ads about motherfucking. Man, they give me ads about the dumbest shit, bro. I don't give a shit about y'all presidential race, bro. Keep that shit to yourself. Keep it to yourselves. I do not give no fucks. I don't care. No ad I see is going to make me want to vote for you. I'm voting for who I want to vote for, and that's it. Final. What? We're not doing that. Let's head over. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Let's go explore the floor of the ocean. Okay. All right. This is awesome. Wow, I can already see fish. Look, we haven't even gone down yet. Look, it's a barracuda. You guys want to scrape the floor of the ocean? We can. We can do anything. We have this entire submarine to ourselves and can explore whatever we want. Let's do everything. Except no captain? Crash. We are not allowed to do that. Okay. And to make sure we got the very best angles down here, we paid scuba divers to follow the submarine. Isn't this cool? Let's communicate with them. Shark behind. Everyone freak out, okay? Start freaking out. 
And while we're underwater, Tariq and Nolan are also on a $50,000 safari in Africa. And we're gonna see if we see more cool creatures down here than they do over there. Spoiler, we will. So he spent $100,000 technically, but two separate $50,000 ones? Man, I wish I just had money to blow away like that, bro. My life would be different, bro. I'll tell you that. This is gorgeous. All right, let's go find the king of the jungle. We cannot leave Africa until we see a lion. Do you understand? I do understand. Why did you point at me like that? Look, 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 look. Oh, we're on! Yo, it's Pumbaa! Cool. You scared him! Oh, you scared him. You're I'm sorry, I shouldn't yell. I'm not supposed to yell. Zebras! I feel like zebras would taste good. Like, if I was a lion, I'd always go for a zebra. They just look thick. What? For some reason, I know exactly what he mean, bro. You feel me? If I see something... If I see something like a zebra, as a lion, if I saw something with stripes, I'd be like, damn, that shit low-key exotic. I low-key want to nibble on that, you feel me? I want a slight nibble, you feel me? Bro, this is so worth $50,000. Yeah, this is so worth Jimmy's $50,000. Wait, Carl, what if instead of being a ship, that's a submarine? We're taking this thing back up immediately. <laughs> wow. What? Look how, how close we are to those rocks. Oh. Whoa. Is it okay how close we are? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. All right. But we weren't the yeah, only yeah, ones okay. getting up close and personal. Zebras, where you going? Hey, buddy, wait. Giraffe. Come back. Patrick? Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Well, there's two right behind you. There's three oh, they're technically. unnervingly close. They're very close. <laughs> oh, it's awfully oh, close. It is coming towards oh, us. Oh, He's got charged by an elf. This oh, is the coolest thing ever. Look at him. That thing is a unit. That's my dad. This is way cooler than a submarine. My they hella close. A fish. Also, my heart's beating out of my chest right now. And that was the 50K experience. What we have coming up next is even better. This thing pales in comparison to the $250,000 zero gravity experience. This company will fly you up and then nose dive, creating a zero gravity environment inside the plane. The $250,000 experience starts now. You telling me you said a plane would go up and purposely go down straight towards the ground? One malfunction and y'all crashing. One malfunction and y'all crashing. I do not want that experience that bad, bro. I'm not gonna lie. There's zero gravity chambers inside of buildings for way less. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I can't stop loading! Go long! <laughs> and plus, if you're nose diving, you're going to the ground very fucking fast. How high do they have to go, and how long do you have? Because if you're nose diving, you're gonna hit that ground low key fast. So how much time do they get in the air? <laughs> oh, that was awesome! Oh my gosh, this is sick! On this next drop, we're gonna race to the other side. Turn on zero gravity. Oh, they keep going up and down. That's what it is. They keep going up and down. <laughs> Oh, we made it! Oh, we won! We made it! We won! Yes! Turns out racing without gravity doesn't work so well. But luckily, Carl had a better idea. I'm gonna test out a leaf blower. All right, wait for it. Oh! <laughs> He's spinning! Oh! Oh! oh. He's actually spinning! Stop. That's cool. I'm not gonna lie. That's tough. And before we turn the gravity off again, we're gonna try to make some of our Mr. Beast Lab swarms in zero gravity. You ready? Yeah. No way. Let's try to make some. I created the coolest toys ever. All you have to do is pour water into the tube, shake it, and you'll find out which swarms you got. I'm gonna squirt some water. Give me some. Ow. Oh, we're getting swarmed by these toys right now. This isn't as easy as I thought, but anyways, there's over a. 119 swarms to collect. You can find swarms in packs of 12, packs of 5, and packs of 2. Available at Walmart, Target, and Amazon in the United States, and everywhere around the world at your top toy retailers. It's my favorite toy. I'm so far, he has promoted his Feastables bar already, and now he just promoted his toy. All we need left is him, is him to promote Lunchly. Once he promote Lunchly, I'm not going to lie, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's like, you feel me? All we need is one more, and I promise you, it's Lunchly. Go get it at your local Walmart. These are the most exciting toys this holiday season, and they're flying off the shelves. Carl, Ken. Make sure you buy Mr. Beast Labs before they're sold out. Oh, that's going to be cool. 
Oh, hold on, Nolan, catch. Come here. Oh, God. Yeah. Body slam. Oh, God. Oh, God. I have no idea how the $500,000 experience is going to top this. Well, let's go find out. And after going all around the entire world to film this video, we're at the $500,000 experience. This is the craziest view of ever. Unlike any spectacle seen before in the history That's, of mankind, that looks my nice. friends and I are about to see what half a million dollars can allow you to experience in the most. Half a million dollars, nigga. They already, they already had half a million dollars. Nigga, they got ten more minutes. They got a whole ten more minutes of this video. How long is this half a million gonna last? Most luxurious metropolis in the entire world, the city of Dubai, a place carved from the desert but created for pleasure. And at the end of this video, I'm going to become one of the few individuals in history to stand on top of the tallest building in the world. Yeah, we fuck went no. all out. It is going to blow your mind. Let's go have some fun. How are we here? So after we found our way off this 500 foot picture frame, we made our way over to this castle of a hotel. Woo! Wow. This is insane. Water in our backyard. The first two floors of this hotel room are magnificent, but the coolest one by far is the third level that's completely underwater. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, welcome to Atlantis. We love you all, except for you, Carl. Sorry, man. He went into a thing with sharks just to make fun of me. For the record, there's over 80 sharks in this tank. And later in this experience, we're actually going to be swimming with them. And for the cherry on top to wrap all this up, come on, we're gonna go skydiving. No way. Yes! <laughs> Dude, falling from thousands and thousands of feet in the air. Don't worry about that. Let's go race F1 cars. Yeah. And what better place to do so than at the Dubai Autodrome, home to some of the fastest... Okay, so I guess the $500,000 experience is just a bunch of things that add up to $500,000 that they did in Dubai. I low-key can't wait to watch this. Cars in the entire city. Just grab whatever car you want. Let's go race. All right, let's go. And I called up some of the biggest local creators to have a field day with these supercars. Let's have some fun. They're going so fast! And this is just the first of many experiences we're gonna be doing here. We are just getting started. I'm ready to race. Oh, we're about to lap someone. We're catching up to them. Oh no, Jimmy! No! No! Come on, Grandma! I don't think my mom will be happy watching me race. I don't think she could drive slower if she wanted to. That's illegal, okay? That's like, like that's really illegal. While my friends and I were pretending to be race car drivers, Carl was getting ready to drive an actual formula level race car. Oh, that looks so cool now. Let's do this thing. They couldn't trust me when they like that. Start. Yo! Oh! oh my god, I'm driving a formula car! This is the best day of my life! For the price of this experience, we actually got to keep this brand new Lamborghini. I want to enjoy it a little bit. Yeah, I would have put so trash. This bad boy is fast. Let's go to an NBA game all the way in Abu Dhabi. But to be honest, guys, I'm not the kind of guy who likes to drive around sports cars. And plus, we cannot find a parking spot. So I'm just going to find someone to get this thing to. Do any of you watch the Mr. Beast channel? Yep. That says subscribe. Can I just give you this Lamborghini? Uh, I prefer someone else to have it. What? What the heck just happened? Hey, sir, security, can you the come nigga, over here? The oh, niggas are in Dubai, nigga. That ain't nothing. You know what he probably said? It's like, I don't feel like, I don't feel like parking that hole neither, nigga. I got about four of those at the crib myself. He sound like a native. He definitely already got about four of them hoes on his own. He don't give a fuck about that one. He said, man, give it to a broke nigga. He, he looking like, do I like a, like you in Dubai, Mr. Beast. You're, you're a filthy rich, Mr. Beast. They're filthy rich too. You're in Dubai. Them niggas, them niggas don't want that shit. Like, they, man, they if they gonna get some, they gonna get us some super shit. He said, man, give it to give it to a tourist or some shit. Don't give it to me. Please subscribe. Can I just give you this Lambo? Yeah, please. All right. See, look, there we go. That's somebody to give it to. A nigga who ain't, a nigga who ain't paid. That's a real. That's a nigga who's work on a job. Give it to a nigga like that. Get in. This is officially your Lamborghini. I'm actually shaking right now. <laughs> this is why you gotta make sure you're subscribed. I'd hate for you to lose a Lamborghini. Hey boys, what are you doing? We got courtside tickets. Enjoy. I'm so happy. With the Lamborghini now off my hands, I gotta sit courtside at a pro basketball game. Hold up, hold up. Let's make sure we subscribed on all channels real quick. Oh, we already subscribed. We subscribed on this channel. We subscribed. 
It doesn't matter. If he runs, if he walks up to me and asks me about subscribe, I'm gonna just pull up my main channel. Because I'm not subscribed to my other channels, but my main channel I am. But instead, it just ended up turning into a photo shoot. Then afterwards, I said hi to Steve Harvey. And after that, Russell Westbrook. And with two hundred thousand dollars worth of experiences left to do, up next we got to two hundred thousand dollars more. That was only three hundred thousand so far. Take over a massive water park. Ah! Ah! Somehow, in the middle of the desert, hang out with penguins. I heard you're the alpha. That is an alpha thing to do. And since that wasn't enough, I am now in a giant pool with eighty sharks and penguins. Hey, Lulu just went on vacation and said, "Just film this shit, bro." Great. Hello there, sir. Hey, hey, come back here. I was trying to talk to you. It's like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, excuse me, sir. Yo, I got some food. <laughs> I am Aquaman, the king of the sharks. My first decree is the sharks bite him and not me. Agreed? Oh, attack him! That is a dinosaur! I am your leader. Attack him. <laughs> no, no, no. That should not exist. I think they just unplugged my oxygen. Well, before this guy turns me into fish food, let's go get our own dinner at a restaurant straight out of the future. Hello, everybody. Jamie, Jamie you're sitting there. What is this, Jamie? I don't know. I don't think I've ever sat at a restaurant this far away from my friends. Gentlemen, prepare yourself for a once in a lifetime experience. Oh, oh. Whoa. Whoa. We will start with our first appetizer. Take it in one bite. Cheers. Cheers. What if I don't like it? Is it good? This is amazing. That whole plate was just that one bite? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoa, what is going on? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Shoot. Whoa. They just scammed the shit out of them. That whole, that one plate was one bite. And they told him, say, try to beat, try to eat it in one bite. Like, nigga, like, just because you say that shit in a weird, in a fucking accent, don't make it sound more delightful, my nigga. Like, you take it in one bite. Like, shut the fuck up. Nigga, get, I, need, I need everybody's bite at this point if I'm paying as much as they paying for that shit. It's like a Call of Duty mission. Am I getting hacked? I thought this was a restaurant, not a movie theater. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this nine-course meal is surrounded by four nine? sixty interactive... So, basically, it's a nine-course meal... Nine course meal, but all nine of them are probably one to two bites. Nigga, that's one Domino's pizza. Not even. That's half a Domino's pizza. Talk about nine course meal. No, nigga. You get nine snacks, basically. And we call it a meal because we just go we just wanna scam y'all. Scammer get scammed. Individuals that change based on the dish. Yo! Whoa. Wait, does it? Oh, it responds to your touch. <laughs> Boys, we're now defending Earth. I'm impressively bad at this. But even though the room was impressive, dude, they're getting tripped up on my water right now. <laughs> Look at that! It was a one-of-a-kind food and drinks that made this experience truly unique. You can touch the glass to react with you. Whoa. We got to try nine mouth-watering courses from freshly caught seafood. Whoa. Look how little them hoes is! Golden Wagyu Burger. You approve? Oh, yeah. Hey, we found one Chandler likes. Bro, that's wild. These niggas said a Golden Wagyu Burger. That bitch was a slider, my nigga. You could get a slider that big for motherfucking White Castle. Like, you get a white nigga. I get it, bro. That is not. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on. They're bullshitting now. Final course specialized just for us. Who is that? Dude, it's Chandler. That is not. <laughs> bro, that is not me. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> let's keep the experience going. All we have left before I literally fall out of the sky and climb the tallest building on Earth is to test my fear of heights at a pool suspended in the sky. Look at this <laughs> view. <laughs> oh my God. Are he has me? Whatever you're seeing. It's so crazy that he has not mentioned lunch leaves yet. Like, is that is that like insane? I thought he would have mentioned lunch leaves by now. Right now, it does not do this justice. No way. Standing over 600 feet in the sky, this 360 degree infinity pool gives you a breathtaking view of every square inch of the city. Let's hop on in, boys. Yeah, I'm getting in. That island behind me is man made. Everything about this is mind blowing. Now we're gonna stick this bad boy over the ledge. Jesus, man. Check out the view. Is that not amazing? We're on top of Dubai. All right, guys, it's time we fall from the sky. 
Dude, you're just falling to the earth. No, you're falling to this man-made island. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Buckle up, because what you're about to witness, I never thought I'd do in my entire life. Literal maniacs, who does this willingly? But what would a video about experiences be without attempting to face one of my biggest fears? Falling out of the sky. If I don't make this, still upload the video. This is getting real. That nigga said, hey, he gonna get, hey, somebody gonna get that paint, nigga. Somebody gonna get that paint. What do you, <laughs> hey, he don't give no fucks. No, I have a family. Prepare for takeoff. It gets real, we're going up. I know, I'm done. I can't believe we're actually doing this. What are the odds I die? I don't know. Oh my God. <laughs> Approaching 10,000 feet. We are so high. I'm not ready. Jimmy. I'm not ready. Carl, come on, you're going first. Jimmy, I hate you. <laughs> I would not want to jump out no plane either. Look at his face! He is not he's not happy, bro. Oh my god! This is terrifying. I'm not going. Hey, he cool as fuck for that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why are you still in his lap if you're not jumping? <laughs> Why are you still in his lap if you're not jumping? Like, what is going on? Ah! How was it? Uh, I'm scared. You scared? Yeah, we're still pretty high up. <laughs> this is probably my biggest fear ever. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> but I did this for you guys. Ah, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, ah, okay. I'm not dead. I'm alive. Where's Chandler? Did Chandler not jump? Where's Chandler? Chandler either didn't jump or splatted on the ground. Oh God, I hope he didn't jump. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy, I'm not doing it. Well, it's a good thing I didn't ask Chandler to join me on the biggest experience of this whole video because behind me is the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building on earth. And to wrap up this experience, I'm gonna go stand all the way on top of it. The first step of reaching the peak of this 2,700 foot building is taking a series of elevators over 160 stories into the sky. But as for the remaining 900 feet, I had no choice but to climb to the top myself. This thing is tall. That's a lot of ladders. He a better man than me, cause I'm not climbing that shit. I underestimated how hard it is to get up to the top. But even after a full hour of climbing, there was still a lot of skyscraper left to go. I thought I finally made it to the top, but there's still a lot left. This thing never ends. Step by step, I started to question whether I really wanted to keep going. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Surely we're almost there. Take that as a no. But despite all this endurance, I reminded myself that this was my moment to be one of the few individuals ever to experience standing on top of the tallest building on Earth. I knew there was no turning back. All right, home stretch. Woo! All right! Oh, fuck I no. It. I am standing on top of the tallest building in the world! Nah. This is insane! Nah. Holy nah. Holy crap, I'm high up. Nah. Oh, this is terrifying. Yeah, I know. Oh, I should have looked down. That's scary. I might puke. Oh. I'll admit, feasible stays better on the ground. Because on the ground, I'm not on the verge of passing out. I'm so afraid of heights. I find time and time again that when I face my fears, I usually end up enjoying it and learning a lot about myself. Damn, look at that view all around, though. He damn near on top of the globe. That is a crazy view. I'm very grateful for this experience. And I would encourage you guys to go outside your comfort zone. Do no. something you wouldn't normally do. I think you'll end up enjoying it and learn a lot about yourself. No. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the effort we put in this video. I love you guys. I see a black man aiming his gun.